All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm starting off at a Target this morning. Um, immediately, <laughs> look what we see up here. New Fast and the Furious Premium set. This is one of the ones I was excited for, this Camaro here. Looks really good. Uh, what else we got? This one is literally just an exact recolor of another one that I already have, so I will leave that. Land Cruiser's really clean. Lastly, Pond, or, sorry, Plymouth GTX. Super cool. Um, I'm probably just gonna pick up one Camaro and one Land Cruiser. There's a lot here. There's probably two or three full boxes put out. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna grab this, um, head to the next, next store. And this was the store where I saw that fresh G case yesterday, um, or in the last video, but it was yesterday. Never mind. Yeah, it's confusing. Uh, <laughs> nothing new so far here, though. Um, probably just gonna head out. Here's that shipper. A lot of it has already sold, actually. So, yeah. Check this out. I'm at Target. They got these new two packs. It's just this one left, though. I would love to find those two, but both of those are gone. Just that one remains. Also, we got some new Matchbox moving parts. C8 Corvette's pretty cool. That Datsun is a redo for some reason police car and this cab over engine truck pretty cool um i really want to find those two packs though um other than that there's nothing else here so head it out. all right we're checking a walmart tonight um haven't really been on walmart's too much recently just been really really dry um so i've just been kind of holding back a little bit on walmart's and my friends have found a couple things premiums and that that sort of thing but nothing too crazy these are getting left, which is really surprising. It's really clean in my opinion. There's like three of them here. So the speed machines are still sitting. I'm so surprised where this is sitting. I don't understand. It's such a nice car. I assume people just don't like these because they don't have rubber tires. And I kind of agree. Ooh, that's cool. Missed that. That sucks. I'd love to find some white lightnings or something like that that is really cool huge gun in the back so we've seen the actually i don't know which ones we've seen from this set i think we've seen the mercury cougar i believe but dang that's awesome they must have had this last night and i missed yeah, it i really think on these they should have at least like bumped the price down maybe like a buck or something at least um i know the castings are cool um a lot of detail but I mean, I feel like the tires are one of the main things that, I mean, the plastic or the rubber for the tires would have to be somewhat expensive. So you could at least drop the price a little bit, but whatever, still cool. I like this set personally. I just know a lot of people don't and they leave it. So I'm gonna head out go to the next All one. All right, on the way to the next store, um, I'm actually meeting a buddy and he has a cool little surprise for me. I'm gonna pay him back, um, but something really cool something that uh came out recently you guys are gonna want to see it so stick still around. waiting for g case at walmart what is happening it's already at targets so usually it just takes a couple days and then it's at walmart's um so i expect to see it soon um looks like they did get the new matchbox wave here here's that opal cadet which is pretty nice tesla which is pretty cool okay uh what else we got here oh i'm nothing it looks like yeah, a whole lot of nothing. Um, I did see two cases of Hot Wheels. They were already opened and looked through, so I assume they were just overstock. Um, so, yeah, I kind of looked through them. There was literally nothing at all. So I uh, check down here, and I'm going to head out. One of my other buddies is at the next Walmart I was going to go to, so that saves me some time. He said there was nothing over there, so that's good. But yeah, heading out. I'll see you guys in the morning at Target. At Target this morning. Got a couple boxes of Autostrass. Um, as well as some of the new Fast and the Furious cars, but I already have some from that set, so I'm not gonna get any more. I might pick up another Camaro, but other than that, maybe a new case of Matchbox. They put out a couple days ago. It's already picked through, but yeah, nothing much. I'm going next door. I decided to grab one Camaro just because I only bought one the first time I saw him. Let's see if that monster truck treasure hunt is still here. It's probably been bought. Yeah, I don't see it on this side. Oh, there's one right there. So, I don't know if these things are actually rare or what, but there is one right there. Um, I also did see I got some new green lights here. Not, that's not a chase. It's not a green body. It's just 
how it's supposed to be. Yeah, nothing here though. Um, probably just going to one last target and that'll be it for this morning. Did they get more of these? No, they just organized them. All right, I'm headed out. All right, next target, and they got some pretty full pegs. Um, I'm pretty sure this is all old stuff because um, they've had a lot of stuff in the pegs for a while now. I might do a quick scan, I don't know. Um, but other than that, I don't believe they've gotten those new team transports yet. Um, but I did see some fresh pegs of Matchbox. What's up, dude? But there is really nothing here. I'm pretty sure this is that new wave, but I don't know if this one has a chase to it or not. Because I'm so bad with that, but yeah. That's it for here. All right, so I just came to Walmart right now and I ran into El Jefe's garage, as you guys know from the last video, um, or a couple of videos ago, he gave, me, he gave me something really cool. And I was talking to him and then he's like, before he walked away, he's like, I got something cool for you. And he sets this down. Another loose ultra, ultra red, super dope. Once again, it's El Jefe's garage. So make sure to follow him. Legend. Absolute legend. Thanks again, dude. Um, as for the aisle, though, um, I really don't see much. I was here last night. I'm just kind of here to do some recon, see if there's anything. Really waiting on those new boulevards with the Civic. Also waiting on GKs here, like I said a couple of clips ago. So, All right, just left Wally, as you can kind of see. Um, I just grabbed some breakfast stuff, and I thought I might as well check the die cast, like always. Uh, but yeah, super cool running to El Jefe again. Um, literally one of the most generous people I know. Super, super cool. Way too kind, dude. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Um, I'm not going anywhere else right now. Maybe Walmart's tonight. We'll see. I work, so... Not sure, but obviously you'll see the next thing in the video. So see you guys soon. Okay, so I decided to end the video there. It was a little bit shorter um, of the hunting part of the video. Um, I do want to show this off though, because I did receive my NFTs from series four um, and they are just absolutely awesome. So I want to spend some time looking at these. I got the boxes they came in. Um, we also did get that little, early in the video, I said I, I was meeting someone because he had a little surprise for me. You see it right here, go over that in a second. Um, and then the fines to the video too. So let's get into it. Um, starting over here, um, I did decide to grab, I saw the new Fast and Furious wave at a couple stores. Um, I did des decide to grab two of each of the Camaros and the Land Cruisers, best ones from the set. Personally, I'm not a huge fan when they re-release cars. So for instance, this Plymouth is an exact re-release that they've done before. They didn't change the wheels. They didn't change like even a little bit of the livery at all. Exact same. The only thing different is the card. The only bad thing is a lot of people decide to open these. When they open them, there's nothing different. Like I could see if you display these with the cards and they're different, but I don't know. Not a huge fan of that. That's an exact re-release. Pretty sure that's an exact re-release. And the, the Hellcat is an exact re-release too. So I grabbed two of these. Super cool. They have made this car before, but it was a slight, slight different livery. So, um, and it was also in a different set. It wasn't in Fast and Furious, it was in something else. Um, but yeah, two of each of those. Um, I also did meet up with my buddy. He found these at Target, um, grabbed me one, grabbed one for himself. He also did grab one of the, this middle set here with the Subaru and the Lexus. Um, I need to still find that one. Now I'd like one more of these. I kind of want to open one because um, I want that car loose. I could just buy the single card one. These are both re-releases. So if you don't know, this one was from Mountain Drifters. This one was from that Silhouettes um, theme or whatever. Uh, so both re-releases, but it's cool to have them both together in a two pack. Um, and then over here, we did get our NFTs. So I bought, I don't know, I bought quite a few packs. I'm not going to lie. I bought like 10 packs of Series 4. So I spent quite a bit. Um, but I did get four redeemables. So I got two McLarens. The other one is in the box here. Um, I did open it, but I just wanted to check the condition of the card. But it's in there. I'll open it to show you. It's in there. Um, the only thing different between these couple boxes is it says Chevy Silverado and that one says McLaren. Other than that, box is the exact same. So 
box for the Silverado one. And the physical cars themselves, really cool. Like, look at the, check this out when it hits the sun. Hold on. Look at this. Just absolutely, I don't know, it's insane. <laughs> so I got two McLarens. Cards are pretty good on both of them. McLaren, you have the little window in the back where you can see, whereas the other ones you don't. So only the treasure hunt car for the series has the window in the back for the NFTs. Um, and then the Silverado here is extremely, extremely clean. Hot Wheels NFT G on the back for Hot Wheels NFT Garage. The tires are muddy. The roof is muddy. Really cool. I didn't like this one as much, but now that I have it in person, it's really clean. Um, and like I said, this one doesn't have the window in the back because it's not the treasure hunt. Card art's really cool. It's not um, reflective on everything, just the Hot Wheels logo is reflective on this one, whereas everything's reflective on this one. Um, absolutely love these things. I already do have a trade lined up for one of these Silverados. Um, and then I'm gonna probably just hold on to my second McLaren for now. Um, kind of cool to have two of them. This was limited to 1,500 pieces and I got two of them, so really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I did post these early on my Instagram. It's hutchhunt underscore. So if you follow me on there, you already saw those. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Oh, one last thing. Forgot about this. Shout out to El Jefe's Garage again. Super dope. Hope you guys enjoyed though. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's hutchhunt underscore. Um, I post all this stuff early. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.